Hi, this is Christian. Welcome to another episode of Minimal Casts. In this episode, I'm going to go over how I use Vim, Tmux, and RSpec all together. Principally, I'm going to go over this Vim leader command that I got from um, Ben Ornstein's screencast and uh, peep code. And I've since made some modifications to the, the leader command uh, to work with Tmux also to be more flexible. So let me jump into this episode and show you how. All right, let me open up a project where I can demonstrate. Let's do this here. All right, let me even up these windows. Okay, I'm just gonna open up source code file. And let me open up its corresponding spec. Okay. Now the leader command I have set for, and I'm gonna show them in a second, but let me just go to an individual test. So what I usually will do in a test is I do leader command RL. That'll run an individual spec, an individual line spec. And what's neat, neat about that, you know, let me just show the, the leader command actually here while, uh, while I'm doing this. So what I just ran was this RL leader command. And what it does is it automatically saves the file, then it calls this Vim function, run current line and test. And then it uh, runs this command here uh, within it. So you can see that I also have um, one set up here for Zeus. Now let me demonstrate what it does. So let me go back to the spec. So it automatically determines where you are and when I run that leader RL command, it runs over on the right side there and it knows where I am and runs that individual spec. But what's really cool and just super useful is that it remembers that last spec you ran. So I can go to, what am I testing here? Um, okay. So let me just put an error here. I'm testing this. I'm just gonna uh, create an error. Now I haven't saved this file either. I just uh, put in here, I'm just gonna change that to a while and I, ha I haven't saved the file because the leader command automatically saves the file as well. So I'm gonna get out of uh, input mode, do RL, and it automatically remembers that last spec I ran and, and now it fails. That's principally what the, the Vim function does. And um, if you do RT, this will run the entire test. For example, it'll run all of these specs here. So let me go back here. I'll do leader command RT. Okay, that has been, that's not undefined yet. So I'll have to do an RT here first so it saves that variable. Then I can move around to a different file, do RT. And then on the right side that runs all of the specs. You see there's two examples run on the right side there. I mean, that's really it. That's what the leader command does. And that's why I think it's so cool because it saves, it, know, it remembers the spec. So you can move around all over the place. I mean, there can be many files and methods that go into a spec, especially if it's a, a course, coarsely defined one. And to be able to just be in that code and then re run that spec without having to go back to the spec or, or you saving the name of the spec somehow in, in, in your Vim history list is just so useful. It was so enlightening when I first saw it. So I thought I'd pass that along. Now let me go over some of the things I added to mine. And I'll have a link to my VimRC. But what I added basically was this, where you could pass in something special to that, or um, an argument basically to the Vim function. Now the TS here, you see here, this is a, let me show, it's a bash function that I set up, a little shortcut here. So function TS, and this does a tmux send keys, target right, put some arguments in there and run some control uh, return key. 
and, and then you can put in whatever you want here. This is the standard. Uh, uh, that's another alias B I have, and that's for bundle exec. Now here I put in Zeus. I use Zeus on a project as well. I also use Spring on a project. So uh, within that project, I can just set up a map, a mapping uh, for that Vim session. Um, for example, if you want to just grab, I'm going to go into Tmux copy mode here. You can just, for an individual session, I can go into the history list here. I'm going to paste, oops, let's try that again. So I could do, I could still use that uh, TS function and do like bin spring r spec and I can run that for an individual session and still use the ZR or you could just make another leader command for that but I, I find myself uh, doing uh, individual mappings for Vim sessions as well and the, the reason I bring that up is because that's what I added to this is the flexibility to put things in here so you can make a mapping just for that that session and another thing I find myself doing a lot like if I'm working on a, a Chrome extension right now and I'm, I'm testing angular and I'm using karma to do it is I've gotten very used to this part of um, running a spec where it automatically saves the file so you're not you might notice a pattern where you're always saving and then you're running that that test command so what I'll do a lot is I'll use a leader command that I'm been using a lot. Let's say it is ZR uh, for running um, a Zeus spec. What I'll do is I'll I'll copy that to the individual project. Um, I don't want to make a separate mapping for it because I, I'm not uh, using doing that much karma testing. So what I'll do is I'll just make an individual mapping for that session and I'll use something like ZR. And instead of call, I'll do execute. And um, I can just run, just take the parentheses out here. I can, I'll still run the TS command, which runs to the right side. And I'll do something like karma run, blah, blah, blah. And that's very useful as well. Because when you get, you, again, you get used to that workflow of having the file get automatically saved and running your spec that way. Uh, this is something I'm, I'm finding myself doing a lot too. So I hope you found the, the screencast very useful and uh, you're gonna put it into place and very enlightening uh, as uh, I did as well. So thanks for watching.